When a fixed term or periodic tenancy terminates by prior agreement or notice, the tenant who remains in possession unlawfully detains the property from the landlord. Likewise, tenant at will who receives the appropriate notice to vacate and remains in possession also unlawfully detains the property. What do these situations have in common? Well, simply, each of these scenarios creates a tenancy at sufferance, the last type of tenancy. This type of tenancy is also commonly referred to as a holdover tenancy. The holdover tenant retains possession of the premises without any contractual right to do so. Their tenancy has been terminated. The landlord is not required to provide a holdover tenant with any additional notice prior to commencing eviction proceedings. The rental or lease agreement usually contains a holdover rent provision, which calls for a penalty rate of daily rent owed for each day the tenant holds over. If the rental or lease agreement does not contain a holdover rent provision, the tenant owes the landlord the reasonable rental value of the property. This is a daily rate owed for each day the tenant holds over. Holdover rent is not due and is not to be collected by the landlord until the tenant vacates or is evicted. On vacating, the holdover period is known and the amount owed can be determined, demanded, and collected. If it is not paid on demand, rent can be collected by deducting it from any security deposit or obtaining a money judgment.